after I finished playing basketball in college and was no longer, um, you know, kind of forced to go to the gym on a consistent basis, I kind of stopped going. Um, I would go occasionally, but it wasn't until about last August that I actually started, you know, making it a consistent part of my day-to-day -day life. As far as gyms go, and oh, that's this is uh, this is pretty much the nicest one you get. Uh, there's another one that may be nice, but I don't know. It's only for women, so I've never been in it. But um, I've been to a couple of them. This one's by far the best maintained, the best equipment, right inside the hotel. So there's a coffee shop downstairs, you know, and the view is hard to beat. See, before August, I would come to the gym. Um, whenever I felt motivated. And over the last couple of years, I've been realizing that discipline trumps motivation when you're trying to grow something, build something, you know, get a habit going. Whether it's going to the gym, trying to make YouTube videos, trying to write, getting my work done, whatever. Um, discipline is you know, you just do it whether or not you want to, whether or not you feel like it, whether or not you're tired when you wake up. I mean, it's 7.30 in the morning right now and I'm the only one in here. But because I'm disciplined, I can get up at 7.30 and come down here, even though I'm tired. When I asked my family and some friends for advice for my 30th birthday, one of the things my brother said was that you can accomplish anything if you're disciplined. Discipline, self-discipline, will get you to wherever you want to go, no matter where it is. Whatever you want to do in your life, wherever you want to go, whatever you want your life to look like, discipline will get you there. A little increment every day gets you to where you want to go. And that was something that really stuck with me because it's something that I've been thinking about over the past few months as I've been trying to build my YouTube channel more, trying to, you know, be more <laughs> more disciplined in doing lots of things. I wanted to make sure that I actually got stuff done. And the last couple of years, I was only relying on motivation to make a video. And then it showed because my videos were it was like one a month. Now I'm trying to be disciplined, come out with two a week as often as I can. And it's about getting up and put my mind to it. Even if I don't feel like it, just gotta put something out, I've gotta do something. Because the truth is, you're not gonna be able to maintain motivation. Discipline, if you get it in your head, you'll be able to keep going. Motivation runs out when you get tired, when you get sleepy, when it's raining, motivation's not gonna be there. Get that discipline there, and it'll take you through those days. Or those times, like right now, It may take a little while to build up the discipline, to, to develop the discipline, but once it's there, it's there. And then that discipline, you know, spills over to other aspects of life as well. Not just the gym, not just making YouTube videos. A YouTuber that I watch, Matt Diabella, he talks about self-improvement and productivity and all of this stuff, and he has something that he calls the two-day rule. Basically, it's you allow yourself to have one day off from doing something when you're trying to build a habit, but you never take two days off in a row. So if you take off one day, you have to do it the next day. And that's what I've been doing in the gym. And you know, over the last eight months, now it's become harder to take a day off than it has to come to the gym every day. This is the hotel that the gym is in, in case you're looking for it. But that's basically all I have to say. You know, if you learn how to be disciplined, you won't have to rely on motivation. And when you are motivated, you'll be able to go above and beyond what your disciplined self can accomplish. All right. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you soon.